Hi everybody, it's Carla and I'm back. Carla from KC Creates. I'm working on a new uh, project where I want to upcycle some clothes and I'm hoping to use a process by making my own applique that I want to patchwork quilt um, over different articles of clothing um, to alter them. And one thing I've been working with is turning really flimsy fabric um, into a stiffer type um, applique kind of piece that will uh, that I'll be able to stitch around a little bit better so first let me apologize for the horrible shadows I'm just in a lighting situation where I can't really control it but I wanted to show you what I've been using um, sometimes you can purchase applique like on Etsy um, and online different craft sites but they're rather expensive um, so something I discovered were these uh, printed scarves that you can get from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be doing like a woodland nature theme and so I found these butterflies and they're very uh, thin material but they're like a cotton blend and so I've also found this kind of relaxing to do so I've been using this uh, heat bond and I made a mistake so I'm showing it to you you have to buy the one that's for um, that's it says iron on but you can then stitch on it so it's a fusible interfacing the one I bought at first had like glue um, that irons on but it supposedly will gum up the needle on your sewing machine so you definitely want the fusible interfacing for sewing um, and there's one that it says no sew and I now know that's because <laughs> if you stitch on it it's not good for the needle of your sewing machine but if you can see I've just been taking the really thin pieces of fabric and kind of puzzling them onto a piece of the interfacing and they do recommend that you understand where the glue side is so I'm laying it um, the right side onto the glue side maybe I can show you the only way <coughs> excuse, me. <coughs> excuse me the only way I could tell was the glue side is kind of sparkly it's a little bit of a shine I don't think it's going to show the difference here but you can definitely tell in good lighting it's more matte where there's no glue and shiny where there is <clears throat> and then all you have to do I have a crazy setup here this isn't an ironing board at all but um, I have it on a board and then I've got it on a kitchen towel and then you should cover it before you iron it um, and I just have a piece of uh, pillowcase fabric and I'm going to cover over it Sorry. and then with a hot iron not the hottest setting but you don't want to use steam I think I still have a little bit of steam in this iron and this is just a cheapo iron I had to buy on the fly because my good iron uh, fell off of the ironing board and broke <laughs> so I'm not going to really smooth around with the iron a lot I'm just going to more or less press in place with the iron So if you like fussy cutting, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it's kind of fun to just sit down with uh, these fabric scarves. This is another one I found. It's really pretty. It's got all kinds of flowers. I was actually really happy to see that it fuses nicely to the um, interfacing and it almost makes well it does make the colors more vibrant 
if you can see this is just a piece that I did and then you go back to the step of fussy cutting it out again um, but it's it's okay I, I really love the processes um, some of the craft projects I choose have everything to do with all of the processes you have to do to accomplish the craft and this is one that I like a lot. There are some steps in crafting that I'm just not a fan of. <clears throat> I know when I do paper journals, I love all the details, but the one thing I've never been good at is stamping. And some people use the rubber stamps for like postmarks and things on their pages. And I can never get the stamping to my liking. So I always admire when people use stamp, ink stamps on their pages. But that was just an example of the, the different processes that, because to get to a finished project, there's so many possibilities of processes. I guess I've always been one that likes to cut. So I'm going to hold this down just a little bit longer. There are instructions on the back and it kind of gives you an idea of how long to hold the iron. And for one, the print is extremely tiny and for two, <laughs> I'm not a big instruction reader unless I'm confident I'm going to destroy it if I don't read the instructions. But I pretty much know this one is just like doing any kind of iron on patch. And I fussy cut the pieces out first because I didn't want to waste a lot of the backing or the interfacing. But you could just lay a whole strip of this onto the interfacing and then cut around it. But I think you'd have more waste. But if that's not a problem, then that would eliminate one, one of the fussy cut steps. Okay, and so then I'm just going to see how well it's fused. So I can already tell I didn't get the iron in this corner very well because it's lifting up. So before I peel it back, I'll go back over to that area. <clears throat> and just hold it there a second. And since I'm going to hold it there a second, I think I'll take a little sip of my coffee. It's kind of early, you guys. I don't know what it is about the older I get, the earlier I like to get up in the morning. So I've been up since 5. Today is Father's Day in our country, and a lot of people will probably be going to church with their dads or going fishing or to a restaurant or doing something special. My husband's going to be sleeping for a while because he works late. Um, and then we'll, of course, spend some time with him. But I made his favorite chocolate pie already, and it's sitting cooling. And I'm happy that the meringue turned out because that's usually the hardest part for me. Um, and then the boys are planning him a steak dinner which he doesn't get very often, so I know he's looking forward to it. I say the boys because I just don't eat steak. I never have liked it, and it's just nothing that appeals to me. But my husband is from Texas, so they love their beef. But like I said, they don't get it very often, so it'll be a treat. So I'm hoping... This is fusing together well. And then if you just take a day and designate it the day to make applique, you can put them in envelopes or baggies of some sort and then say, you know, these are my daisy flower appliques or whichever. You label them. 
going to pull this off so it's only sticking to the area that didn't have applique on it but it worked I was ironing where there was no um, interfacing I didn't realize this is a smaller piece um, okay so I just take the pillowcase protector off you have to do that or this part will stick to your iron and then you end up with this wonderful um, sheet of applique that all you have to do is then get your little precision cutting scissors excuse me and cut around them Let's see here and it really stiffens it up nicely so that when you go to sew it'll have a little toothiness it'll be able to hold on and it won't slide all over the place and then I think it'll also hold up well on your fabric or your clothing whatever you're attaching it to and because these are washable items that I'm cutting these images out of I don't have to worry about losing the color so I've got this one now and then this one I did earlier with these wonderful daisies this was made with the butterfly um, pillowcase but again the fabric was really thin so I wanted to bulk those up a little here's one of the other thin thin butterflies from the scarf so my next test will be to see after I apply them and I'm going to do a little test by putting them on a small garment of some sort and washing it now they'll be stitched on but I, I definitely want to just wash it to see what it does with the backing on it hoping that it won't be like buckled or rippled or wrinkled in any way because I've never worked with this before but there are a couple of the cutouts and I think this is going to be a really great pro process with uh, little cost because like I said I got these scarves with the butterfly images at the Dollar Tree for $1.25 I got the uh, pillowcase from Goodwill and of course you just wash any of your thrifted items really well and get them nice and clean before you use them and it cuts down on the cost but it also gives you more options for images that you might really want um, and they'll be more unique to your actual project so I'm going to sit here with my coffee and enjoy cutting these out I'm sorry I didn't realize I wasn't in the frame of the camera but you probably have something better to do than watch me sit and fussy cut so I'll call this done for now and say thank you so much for watching and as I continue the process of upcycling doing patchwork with applique I'll do another video and show you how I'm getting along thanks for watching